Hello, and what is going on today, guys? Tomcat here, and welcome back to another episode of Will It Off-Road in Forza Horizon 2. Now, very soon, I will be... Well, once Forza Horizon 3 is released, then we will be continuing our uh, Will It Off-Road series in Forza Horizon 3. But, but, I do also want to make a little bit of an announcement to you guys that there may or may not be something Forza-related coming quite soon. Can't quite say what it is yet, but, uh, but I can definitely say that there's something on the way. So, anyway... Back to the video, uh, the video at hand, um, this is an Integra Type R, as you can probably tell, and, um, what I decided to do with it is a little bit weird. I'll, I swapped in a Turbo Rally engine and converted it, uh, converted it to all-wheel drive. Now, I don't know, I was a little bit skeptical about doing exactly that in the beginning. I was like, maybe I'll keep it front wheel, I'm not sure what I want to do. And then I was like, well, if I change it to all wheel, then I can tune the front diff, and I can also have a, you know, a rear diff that I can leave locked all the time, you know, for crazy slides, and then I can use the front end to pull it, you know, so we can pull itself right back out of a slide again. So I was like, well, maybe, just maybe, this might work. And it kind of did in a way. It kind of did. It kind of didn't. Um, it, it's not really the fastest thing. I'll say that right now. It's not the fastest thing, and it's definitely not the fastest thing on a rally stage. But I think that in the at the end of the day, it's a very fun car, and then it's a very fun car that you can that you can use uh, in a variety of ways. You can use it off road. You can use it on the rally stage. You can use it wherever you want, as long as you tune it properly. Now. I didn't tune it for speed. No, I tuned it for sheer hooning purposes, um, because I left the rear diff locked 100% of the time, and then I also made the front diff lock really weird, so I could have this, like, I, I decreased the, uh, the, the off-throttle lock, but I really bumped up the on-throttle lock, so I could turn in and get the rear to lock immediately on turn in so the rear the, so the rear end would come around and then once i got back on the throttle kind of could maintain this 90 degree plus slide and it kind of works but i still have to perfect the the tune to the way i like it because it's not really tuned the way i like it just yet um, it's tuned it's tuned weird it's tuned funky but real quick i want to actually let you guys know that um, I want to give a big thank you to uh, to everybody that's been kind of going crazy over the uh, over the Instagram stuff lately. I mean, I know I posted the yesterday. I put up a well, sort of, kind of last night. Put up a picture of my friend Kit's uh, insane red 240SX with an LS swap. You guys on Instagram have been trying to guess how much horsepower it puts down because I got a video about that car coming soon. And an R32 Skyline that showed up at their shop that I just kind of went crazy over. Um, just was basically dr sitting there drooling. And then, the picture of Jeep Guy sitting on my trunk with his arms on my wing. Uh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, out of context, that would sound really bad. But, it's related to the wing on my car. Don't even get it twisted into anything else. Anyways, so... You guys have been going crazy as far as, like, tons and tons of comments and stuff on Instagram. And I'm actually going to go ahead, and I know I haven't done this in a while, but I'm going to go ahead and shout some of you guys out. Because I, I, feel like, I feel like it's just a cool thing to do. I haven't done it in a while. So, let's see. We've got here, let's see, Gavin underscore Gregory 7. We've got, uh, let's see, Supreme Force. Um, let's see, Jackman 1414. And let's see... Uh, Albert underscore L.A. underscore Stang. Uh, you have some wheels let's see. Trevor underscore Morrison underscore four. And we'll do one more. We'll do one more. Uh, Kooky dot dreams. Okay. So. It's actually kind of good timing because we've got the setup. We've got the car out. And we're ready to go. And I, I, at this point I was like, well, I should probably just launch it, right? Launch it in the rain. Just see what happens. And in seeing what happens, it, it got, it, things got interesting. Things got really, really interesting. I'll just let you guys see. And... Go! <laughs> it just spun all four tires straight through first gear. Got into second gear, and with this close ratio rally transmission, the shifts are just like, boom, 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 constant. Um... You know, it bangs off rev limiter at like 130 something miles an hour, like 136, 
can't really rev any higher than that. I mean, I could tune a, you know, tune the final drive just to get more, um, to get more top end out of it, or give it a longer, like, you know, give it a longer fifth gear or sixth gear, but I don't really want to do that. No, I wanted, I wanted to, uh, to leave the gear ratios really close, so when you're off-road, they could, well, I say off-road, when you're kind of like, you know, hooning around on the dirt, you could kind of, um, get it shifted quickly. Now, the fact that I tuned the diff the way I did kind of allows it to have this weird turn-in balance. And I wouldn't call it balance, I would call it almost an imbalance, but an imbalance that you can use to your advantage because the rear end immediately slides out like a rear-wheel drive car and then you pull it around like a front-wheel drive car almost because I upped the lock on the front diff. So, it... it it's kind of all-wheel drive, like, it is all-wheel drive, but it doesn't really behave like one. It behaves like a rear-wheel drive on corner entry, an all-wheel drive mid-corner, and a front-wheel drive on corner exit. So, it's like a weird mix of all three different drivetrain types, and I know that that sounds like the weirdest thing as far as, like, you know, the weirdest thing to say as far as how you would relate, you know, the feeling of driving a car, but it, it's, it's not... It's not that far off from how it actually feels. Like, to be really honest, it's it's not that far off from how uh, this car actually feels to drive in Horizon 2. So, I think it, it kind of sort of lines up in a way. It sort of lines up with how you would think it would be, which is weird. Because when I, when I originally looked at it, I was like, this is not going to work. And this is not going to feel the way I'm imagining it to feel. Like, at all. I was like, it, this... This is just a preposterous idea, but it actually did sort of work, and I think it's it kind of shows that even if you have a really weird, ridiculous idea, um, as long as you try it, you know, you can make it happen in Forza. So, that's kind of, I mean, honestly, that's one of the biggest things that I love about Forza, is that you have, if you have one of these weird, crazy, funky ideas, you, you can actually make it work. But, um, if you guys want to copy this build and, and just see what it actually feels like, feel free to do that, because I, I kind of almost recommend that you do. Because you get to an angle like that, and then it starts to pull itself back. I tried to, um, like, I tried to go a little bit further than I should have on that one, but either way, it's definitely a weird car to drive, but fun at the same time. So if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to click that like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys enjoyed.